Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at the general gas equation, sometimes also referred to as the general gas law. So let's get started. Now the general gas equation is an equation that combines all three gas laws, so namely Boyle's law, the pressure and volume law, Gay-Lussac's law, which is the pressure and temperature law, and Charles's law, which is the volume and temperature law. So this general gas equation should be used when none of the three variables, i.e. pressure, volume or temperature, are kept constant. And remember this is different to the three gas laws because in each of the three gas laws, remember one of these variables was kept constant. So for the pressure and volume law, it was temperature that was kept constant. For the pressure and temperature law, it was volume that was kept constant. And for the volume and temperature law, it was the pressure that was kept constant. So the general gas equation is used when none of these things are kept constant. They're all changing. So you could be given a question in which pressure, volume and temperature all change and therefore you need to use this new equation that we're going to see. So firstly I'll just show you how we actually arrive at the equation and derive it, but you don't need to be able to do this yourself, you just need to be able to use the equation. So since we've seen already that pressure is directly proportional to 1 over the volume from Boyle's law, and that pressure is directly proportional to temperature from gay lussacs law, then we can combine these two things together to write pressure is directly proportional to temperature over volume. And that's just like saying the T is replacing the numerator on the top here. So we have P is proportional to T over V, or in other words, pressure is directly proportional to the temperature divided by volume. And then, using a mathematical trick, we can introduce a constant on the right hand side. So to get rid of this proportional sign and replace it with an equal sign, we need to times this term on the right hand side by a constant. So we now have P equals a constant times T over V. Or to get the constant on its own on the right hand side. I'm going to multiply both sides by V to get this over here and then we can bring the T down underneath and divide both sides by T. So we therefore arrive at this equation here, PV over T equals a constant. And we therefore have that the above result allows us to form the following relationship. So we have P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. And notice that this could also equal P3V3 over V3 and so on, but we're only ever going to deal with initial and final values of these things so we can stop at the number 2 for the subscripts. So this is the wee trick we can do, remember, when we have something equals a constant. We can introduce these 1s and 2s. So we have that P1 and P2 are the initial and final pressures measured in pascals or newtons per square metre. We have V1 and V2 are the initial and final volumes measured in metres cubed, centimetres cubed or litres, depending on what is used in the question. And lastly, T1 and T2 are the initial and final temperatures measured in Kelvin. So notice how this general gas equation will only work when temperatures are measured in Kelvin rather than degrees Celsius. And this was the same, remember, for Gay-Lussac's law and also Charles's law, where a temperature must be measured in Kelvin rather than degrees Celsius, otherwise it can't be used in the equation. So let's say you're given a question where you're told the initial pressure, the initial volume and the initial temperature of a gas and then you know the final volume and the final temperature. Then you could be asked to find, say, the final pressure, P2, of that gas. And you would know all the other variables to plug them in here and find P2 on its own. But remember, temperature must be in Kelvin for this equation to hold. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.